Hello everyone welcome to my YouTube channel Iraqi Dinar Update. Today I want to share some insightful commentary from Intel Guru Frank26 regarding the state of the Iraqi Dinar and the potential impact on various contracts. Frank26 notes that we don't see any of these contracts open at the moment. He questions, no, all of these contracts are sitting the waiting and waiting for what? The answer, he suggests, is for the Iraqi government, specifically a figure referred to as Sudani, to pull the trigger. But what exactly is this trigger that Frank 26 is referring to? He explains that it is the linchpin that will activate the contract and readjust the value according to the exchange rate of the Iraqi dinar. These contracts, he says, were signed with the Iraqi dinar as the currency of value but now they need to be recalculated to match the contract holder's currency. Frank 26 describes this as a brilliant solution, as these signed, guaranteed contracts will adjust to the new exchange rate of the Iraqi dinar. He emphasizes that the foreign currencies will not be calculated into the new exchange rate until the new Iraqi dinar exchange rate hits the forex market. This suggests that there is a significant event or series of events on the horizon that could lead to a substantial revaluation of the Iraqi dinar. Frank 26 seems to be hinting that the trigger he mentioned, likely some action or decision by the Iraqi government, will set this process in motion. It's important to note that the details of these contracts and the specific mechanisms behind the adjustments are not fully clear from the provided information. However, Frank 26's commentary suggests that there is a complex web of financial agreements and transactions that are currently in limbo, waiting for the right moment to be activated and recalculated. The implications of this, if true, could be far reaching. A significant revaluation of the Iraqi dinar would have the potential to impact a wide range of industries and sectors, both within Iraq and globally. Businesses and individuals with exposure to the Iraqi dinar, whether through investments, trade agreements, or other financial instruments, would likely be closely watching these developments. It's worth emphasizing that the information presented here is based on the commentary of an individual referred to as an Intel guru, and the accuracy and reliability of such sources can be difficult to verify. As with any financial or investment related information, it's crucial to conduct thorough research, consult with financial professionals, and make informed decisions based on your own risk tolerance and investment goals. Nonetheless, Frank 26's insights provide an intriguing glimpse into the potential shakeups and realignments that could be on the horizon for the Iraqi dinar and the associated contracts and financial instruments. It will be fascinating to see how this situation unfolds and whether the trigger he references ultimately leads to the anticipated revaluation and adjustments to these dormant contracts. As always, I encourage you to stay informed, do your own research, and make decisions that align with your financial objectives and risk profile. This is a complex and rapidly evolving situation, and it's important to approach it with caution and due diligence. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to discussing this topic further in the future. Thanks for the watching my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel Iraqi Dinar Update.